So let's go this way because we always start off going that way, but we're going to go a different way. So, guys, happy. What month is it? November, right? Yes, November, November 11th. 12th. No, 12th. November 12th, Saturday, November 12th. It's yesterday was Veterans Day. We are Veterans at the. Yes, yesterday was Veterans Day. So it's been a four day weekend, not because of Veterans Day, but because but of Tropical Storm Nicole. But now we're at the Jacksonville Arboretum and Botanical Gardens. Can we be on the third day? They're cleaning up a lot of storm debris we're and the cleaning up the gardens. So. Trying to get away from the noise, which we understand they're out here cleaning up after the tropical storm slash hurricane. So it was a hurricane when it hit Florida, but then by the time it got to us, it was basically just downgraded to a tropical storm. Still a lot of storm damage. Most of the trails are open, but it is loud. Jacksonville Arboretum and Gardens is one of the best places to bring your kids in the Jacksonville area for outdoor adventures. So this is the place that we shot our very first nature trail video. We're on our third day of our Break. Yeah. From Veterans Day, Tropical Storm, and Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Slowly drowning out the noise. We are on the Live Oak Trail. Like, there's tons of trails out here. They're all short in length. You can choose the trails you want to do. And they're all different environments. There's no two trails that are the same out here. And this is actually a trail I don't think we've done, so... We're going to do this and then knock out some of the other ones as well. This is the Sand Ridge, and that's the Live Oak if we stay on the Live Oak. But we're going to do the Sand Ridge Trail. Ooh, this is the longest trail here. It's one mile out of all the trails. Like I said, there's about six or seven, maybe eight trails out here. One thing I'll say out here is uh, the trails are very well maintained. That's part of the reason there is a small admission fee of $3 a person. They have a little Venmo barcode that you can scan uh, to pay that way. Uh, I think they even still have the old fashioned like put your cash in an envelope and put it in the box kind of thing too. So definitely worth the admission though. And great place to bring your family. Lexi, what kind is this? Do you know? Um, I don't know, but it's orange. It's very cool looking. There's a papa in there. There's a what? Papa in here. A papa? <laughs> oh, yeah, there is a papa. I don't see it though. Lots of cool information as you go along. Do you want to go to the ugly marsh or the pretty whatever this is? Yeah, I'm okay with the rosemary. Okay. Or, yeah. Oh, it's red. 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 It's locked. Red. Oh, it's locked? Oh, okay. So marsh or exit. Marsh slash exit. Which? Marsh or sand bridge. Oh, I see this is go here. Yeah, let's go this way. This is a little marsh view here. Can't really go any further than this, but not too bad. Carolina Red Eagle. You never know, there may, there may be. Carolina Red Just enjoying a morning out here. Perfect time of year to be doing this. November, December, January. Nice and cool. Overlook area, a little bench. Lots of benches out here. Lots of places to stop and sit. None of the trails are too long. So perfect, like I said, perfect for the family at the Jacksonville Arboretum. Puppets of 
100 Stefanios on the wall. Passing around, 99 Stefanios on the wall. Kids are arguing. We're gonna check out the Jones Creek Trail. Still doing a lot of cleanup out here after the tropical storm. So we'll see if this entire trail is open. But it is possible they've got it all cleaned up. So let's see. It's a big one. So we are on one of the bridges for the Jones Creek Trail. Yes. That way, that way, that way, and then this Yeah. There's some little little flowing water spots. Pretty water. High on the bluff. So we're deciding what we're going to do for lunch after this. Lexi wants panda. Do, does Ian know what he wants for lunch? Yeah, what kind of food would you like for lunch? Probably Taco Bell. Okay. Got a panda, got a Taco Bell. Ian, you don't know yet, huh? This is a nice little spot. Up high up on this bluff, nice little bench area to pretend like you're not in Florida for a second when you're high up on these little bluffs. Just a nice little day to come out here. Now, just keep in mind if you come out to the Arboretum, it is in the heart of Jacksonville, so you will hear those occasional road noises, but there are some trails where you can get pretty much start drowning out that road noise and when you get closer to like the front of the park and things like that you'll hear the highways and the, all the road noise but still awesome place to be it's actually you'd be surprised that something like this is smack dab in the middle of the city so hope you guys can come out this way you won't regret it we've never gone this trail before we are on the aurelia trail We're not arrested yet. We've just never gone done this trail. See, we come out here, we, do, we always have such a big group of people and we just don't ever get a chance to do all the trails. Tell me about what just you happened, see, Ian. An acorn fell on my head from a tree. Are you sure did it, did it throw it at you? Probably did. No. We are actually doing one that we had not done before. And there is some road noise on this one. We're kind of walking parallel to Monument Road. So that's what we hear, the highway out there. But let's check it out.
parking lot. I can definitely say we haven't done this yet, or before. Walking parallel to the parking lot. Well, I think we're gonna call it a day here. Saw what we wanted to see so far. Uh, we did answer some questions. I saw where some other trails were that we had not done yet. A couple trails closed still for storm cleanup. We'll be back. Awesome place to go with the family in Jacksonville, Florida. If you like family-friendly content, family adventures, this is your channel. We'll see you on the next one.